Double. Double? Yes, sir. It was bound to happen at some point on the tour. Look at this fish! This thing is huge. You gotta get in here for a picture with me. Good one, dude. So this is day one here in Martha's Vineyard. We're fishing the rip currently. This is unlike anything I've ever fished. This is wild. We're fishing out here with Brian and seeing some top water action already. Saw one person hook up and land one. So we're trying to get out there using big poppers right now. This is my saltwater popper actually. Starting off with that. I'm gonna try and land one here. True Martha's Vineyard striper. With the guitar in my hand. I know I want it. First cast. What is it? It's bass. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize the day. Recognize this guy. It's awesome. See a sea lice? I'm gonna snap a picture. Some sea lice yeah, on that side. And the cool thing is, I press yep. the bullseye button once and it opens up the camera portion of the app here. No shit. Yeah, so it's already got the camera pulled up, ready to take a picture. Got it. Work. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Sound of excitement, boys. Keep my heart. I can't walk and I don't care no, to. Yeah. I think he's fun size. Good shot. Fun size. Come here, buddy. Yeah, boy. Awesome. Did you just swing these guys in there? Uh, if he's too heavy to lift, I can grab him with the lippers for you. Yeah, you can just pull him right up. Yeah. Woohoo. Beautiful. Brian put me on the key bait there. What's this called? Uh, it's the Dewa Minnow. That's what he wanted. Awesome, man. You catch absolutely everything on that. Man. We're out here, we saw all the birds moving, so he came out to these rocks. It's just a boulder field right under the water. It's beautiful. Log action in the Ronzi. <laughs> Look at that. All right, my fish is going back in. It's time to catch another. There you go. Looks good. Is she? Double. Double? Yes, sir. Oh, oh there's, there's one way behind way. it. Hey, cast your fly over here. Oh, well, never mind. Thanks, they did. <laughs> Another fish. Got mark him up. Get him back in. Don't have time to the phone out. He gave me the secret, the secret lure. That's what it is. Oh, God. 
You good? That was close. You good? Uh, yeah, we'll probably have to cut the barb, but I mean, yeah. You hooked through the hand? Not bad, no. As long as we got barb cutters. <laughs> well, I gotta hold on to them tight, yeah. I don't know if uh, this could be a challenge right here. Actually, just try and push the barb here. Um, pinch the barb There's with the weight. Oh, yeah, you got it. Okay. I don't want to push like towards you either. No, you're good. You can push towards me. It didn't like, it's in a fine spot. There it is. <laughs> it was bound to happen at some point on the tour. Beautiful. Yeah. Let me see her in the sun. Might just be better crimping the bar than cutting it completely. Yeah, see, if you can cut it, that'd be great, but. Yeah. Bet you can pull it out. You want me to try? Yeah. Or do you want to do it? Uh, give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably gonna start getting the sweats. Okay. Hey! hey. Beautiful. All right. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna start using the bokeh grips more. <laughs> so we're slack tied now, so we're gonna bounce over to a different spot that's a little bit of a putt away just because, you know, we got time while this uh, tide's changing. So we're making a move. Did pretty well in this last spot. It was basically run to the birds, find the birds, see the fish blowing up, fish to them, catch a few fish, and then birds would move, fish would move refind them so it's just again running gun style same deal we were doing in New Jersey fishing for a striper yeah. come on baby that was sweet this is on that hair jig too or bucktail that pink one yeah and it's one hook I like that Another beautiful striped bass back in the game, baby. I cast and I see one right next to over here. Get back in, get another. Vineyard Sound, right now we're on a shoal called Middle Ground. Uh, what happens is we have two deep bodies of water. It's about 70 feet deep over to our right, and it's about 85 feet deep over to our left. But where we are now, it's only about three feet because of the tides go back and forth and they stack up all the sand here. So it makes a big shoal. And so we've been working up and down the shoal, trying to stay ahead of the tide. The big fish, they have the power to zoom in and out of the current here. Whereas all the little bait fish, they get tired and confused. So this is uh, number one spot to find them feeding. Smoked it on the popper, a seagull came down, fish came up, casted it right to where he was, and he smoked it. Appreciate you putting me on this fish, man. Appreciate you having us out here, Brian. Heck yeah, man. This has been awesome so far. Back in we go. See, fishy. Sweet. Fish out! Another 
beauty. Oh my god. What a beautiful striper. Woo Gosh, the popper bite is going off. It's been awesome. Let me get this guy back in. Out here with the angler tour, Brian hosting us and Corey taking us out on the boat, captain in the vessel. It's been too cool. Too cool. Park the boat. One click. Get him back in. for striped bass with eels, like actual live eels. We tail hooked them. Brian's got us set up out here. We're on the on the sand. It is, I don't even know. I think it's like 11 o'clock. Catching striped bass on live eels. Nice fish. Oh, that's a good one, dude. It is. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. You oh, weigh yes. Out? We should weigh him out. Yeah, let's weigh him. Awesome. That's a good one. There you go. All right. Oh, look at that fish, man. This thing's huge. The survey says 15.6. Yeah, baby. 15.6. What the fish is big? Uh, you can, but use both hands. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, you know you gotta rock them in the water for a minute. Don't release them just yet. I mean, Look at that! That's a stud. You wanna turn my light off? Real yeah, quick? Right. right side. My right side. Now do both of them. Oh geez. Alright. Perfect. Look at that fish! Thing is huge. You gotta get in here for a picture with me real quick. Yeah. Uh, so Brian had us out here. We're throwing eels on circle hooks. Live eels on circle hooks. Uh, that eel drifted maybe five seconds and he hammered it and this is a beautiful almost 16 pound true striper out here in Martha's Vineyard. Thank you so much yeah, for putting man. me on this fish. That's a really nice Basically fish. like you just hold him at the tail and you kind of rock him gently until he's ready to go. Like he'll let you know when he wants to go. Yeah. There you go. So just rock him really gently. Look at this guys. How cool is Amazing. that right? What a fish. It's starting to get a little, a little kicky. So, what, what the rocking does is it'll uh, allow the uh, air to get back in his tongue. There it goes, man. Beautiful, right? What a release. Oh my god. It's so, so beautiful. They really are, man. That's a big boy. Big, big boy. Like basically, once you chuck that out, that thing feels like you've got a fish on the whole time. <laughs> yeah. He's not happy. Man, yeah. caught a beautiful 10 pound striper here uh, just off Martha's Vineyard. Uh, we're getting that outgoing tide. Outgoing or incoming? That's uh, outgoing. Outgoing tide, I was right. And uh, we got a beautiful full moon. We got we got eels. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> we woke up at 5 a.m. yesterday and it is currently 5 a.m. of the next I don't even know how that works of the next day. So we just did an entire day of just f fishing. And I mean, we were catching up the whole time. So it's like, Brian and I were talking about it. Right, Brian? How can you leave fish? You can't leave fish. <laughs> yeah, we, we all need help. So we're going to catch like four hours. So we fished 24 hours yesterday. Uh, I grabbed a few hours of sleep, and now we're out here on a tiny little brook trout stream here on the island. 
Martha's Vineyard. And uh, as soon as he said there's brook trout here, I started geeking out. So I'm like rigged up. I've got a little nymph rig going on here. Our Rainbow Warrior and um, Prince Nymph variety. So we're going to see if we can't coax at least one little brook trout. That's all I want to I just want to get my hands on one little brook trout. Yeah, boy, just drifting right back down there. Yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. Sitting here on the lagoon right now, um, this is kind of like the uh, the backdrop for where the story happened. But uh, my friend Corrigan and I, he's a great fisherman, uh, very accomplished fisherman. We decided we were going to go out during the Martha's Vineyard Derby last year in uh, a small craft advisory and uh, took a 22 foot boat and circled the Elizabeths, uh, which are just to the north of us here. And, uh, pounded the waters for about 18 hours with no fish and uh, a whole lot of boulder fields that we had to navigate the boat through. And uh, it was sketchy, you know, and you could see that Corey's knuckles were turning white. And uh, we had to take some breaks, you know, in the calmer areas. And so we really hit it hard and got nothing all night long. And uh, so coming back into the waters right here, basically, uh, you know, the fish started breaking and Corey took a good cast and next thing you know, he had uh, like a mid 20 pound range fish on the line and he ended up, uh, you know, basically winning a daily fish um, in the Martha's Vineyard uh, Bass and Bluefish Derby. And ironically, it was, it, was, it was a beautiful fish, but it was also the only boat fish weighed in that day. So that's pretty cool.